Excalibur, HIMARS and others, high-precision Western weapons are no longer effective in Ukraine. A significant portion of American precision-guided munitions has proven vulnerable to interference from Russian electronic warfare systems. After a sharp drop in their effectiveness, the Ukrainian armed forces stopped using certain types of Western weapons, writes the Washington Post. As senior Ukrainian military officials told reporters, projectiles that are aimed at a target using a global positioning satellite system, GPS, are vulnerable to interference. These precision weapons performed well at the beginning of the war, but over time the Russians found countermeasures to them. Now, some weapons that were previously considered powerful tools no longer provide an advantage. I'm not saying nobody cared before, but now the Americans are starting to worry. As we share information with our partners and our partners share with us, the Russians are certainly sharing with China as well, said one senior official, Ukrainian military men. For example, the success rate of Excalibur precision projectiles, which are fired from 155mm artillery, has plummeted within a few months to less than 10%. After this, the Ukrainian armed forces were forced to abandon the use of this ammunition last year. These shells have not been supplied to Ukraine for six months now. Similar problems have arisen with precision-guided JDAM bombs, which are dropped from aircraft. Ground-launched small-diameter bombs also proved ineffective. The Americans are now working on new settings before making them available again. The M30-31 high-precision missiles, which are launched by the already legendary HIMARS and M270 launchers, did not escape the sad fate. They showed themselves powerfully during the first year of the war, destroying many Russian ammunition depots and command posts. But by the second year, it was all over. The Russians deployed electronic warfare, turned off satellite signals, and HIMARS became completely ineffective. Effective. This ineffectiveness led to very expensive projectiles being increasingly used to hit lower priority targets, a senior Ukrainian military official said. In January, Ukrainian military commanders called on Western partners to provide an alternative M26 cluster munitions, which can also be launched from these multiple launch rocket systems. These low tech, unguided missiles are resistant to obstacles, and cluster sub munitions can hit targets over a wide area, even if the shot is inaccurate. It is noted that Kyiv still considers its HIMARS missiles to be effective, but Russian jammers can cause them to miss their target by 15 meters or more. When it is, for example, a pontoon bridge, but there is a 10-meter deflection, the projectile hits the water said the Ukrainian official with whom the authors of the publication spoke. Senior Ukrainian military officials said UK provided Storm Shadow air-launched cruise missiles were less vulnerable to Russian interference because they relied not only on GPS, but also on two other navigation systems, including an internal map that matches the terrain of the planned flight path. However, Russian air defense has achieved some success in intercepting them.